Uh, I'll start with the webinar. So basically, uh, what we are having is a small session uh, with one person from uh, Care Insurance, and they have been very uh, thankful to us. Uh, thank, uh, very, you know, generous uh, to spare one person uh, who is their network uh, handling in charge to demonstrate to us and explain to us how the entire empanelment process works uh, as far as care insurance is concerned. So there are a lot of questions and queries which are coming. So we thought let's tackle one uh, insurance company at a time and uh, care was very forthcoming. And we have Mr. Rishav Singh, uh, who is uh, from Care Insurance. He has been there with Care Insurance for uh, around a year. And uh, he will be demonstrating to us how to go around uh, with the empanelment of Care Health Insurance for cashless. So as everybody is aware, uh, cashless empanelment is very essential nowadays because patients come and ask for cashless. And Care is a standalone health insurance company. That is one thing you should understand. So... <clears throat> One important aspect that you should understand the difference between standalone health insurance and general insurance is that when a company is a standalone healthcare ins health insurance company, you will find more complaints, more issues, teething issues because they are handling the clients directly instead of through any TPA. And uh, they are not selling corporate insurance as much. They have a retail business also where the clients have higher expectations. It's a B2C segment. Where their, uh, their role is very important, being an standalone, and they understand healthcare better because they look at healthcare only. They don't look at any other uh, insurance uh, segment. So that is very important for, part here. So I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Rishav here, and we also have uh, other uh, you know eminent doctors, uh, Dr. Saurav, Dr. Heman, uh, along with us. And I request everybody to mute your, uh, you know, mics and any queries you can always, <clears throat> you can always uh, unmute yourself, raise your hand, uh, we will uh, call out your name and you can ask the questions. Okay, so now I hand over to Mr. Rishav Singh. I request Mr. Rishav to uh, give us a brief introduction of himself so that everybody understands him. Uh, Rishav sir. Good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Rishav. Uh, and... Uh... A brief, back, brief background about me. So I did my MBA from ICFI Hyderabad, ICFI Business School Hyderabad. And then I was placed at ICIC Lombard, General Insurance Company in the provider department. There I worked for three and a half years. And post that I moved to Care Health Insurance. So I have just completed my one year over here. As of now, I take care of Pan India empanelment and pricing. And negotiations are a part of it. Uh, onboarding hospitals resolving their queries or any day-to-day -day transactions which they face later on payment and all issues deduction issues are directly not handled by me but still there's a team which i can route you through and help uh, support you in getting your queries resolved at from care health insurance but two three things uh, about care health insurance is uh, rightly said by hari sir that it is a standalone health insurance company and uh, a bit update i would like i would not say rectify it but a bit update that sir uh, yes the portfolio was uh, 80 20 80 percent retail and 20 percent corporate but now we are increasing our footprint in uh, corporate also and so it is somewhere around a mix of 60 40 where we are 60 in retail business and 40 percent in the corporate business also so we have taken up that challenge and we are achieving good success in servicing them and the clients are really satisfied on that part also so as far as the main agenda of the meeting is concerned, uh, for uh, empanelment, I would say, how to get empaneled with care health insurance. So I'll start one by one. Uh, just let me... <coughs> okay. Okay. Is my screen visible, sir? <coughs> Yes, it is. So uh, I assume every everyone must be using uh, Google Chrome or any other browser. You just have to click www.careinsurance.com. And and we land up here at this page, uh, Care Health Insurance official website page. 
and when we scroll down below this page we yeah. come to a point where it is written as already a customer and there you can find a link over here the last option which states that hospital empanelment once we click on this link we get a window new window where we can see that it is there are three type of tabs here one is track request new request and upload document so if we go in new request so basically a detailed sheet open up and one by one we need to fill the details two three things which one has to note is that the total window time of this uh, page is 20 minutes so the request the all the details have to be filled within 20 minutes otherwise the request will be closed and there will be no reference number generated for this so if i go one by one it is name of the hospital address address line to everything marked the star is a mandatory field landmark pin code pin code must not be uh, pin code must be uh, six digit code the district will be auto detected city state standard code landline number pan of the hospital name as per pan card roini id and most of the time what happens that hospital fills a roini id which has already been expired so i request that the and at least the start date of this roini should be correct if the end date is missed out or it has been expired so I request that the start date should be correct so that tomorrow if we onboard the hospital also we can update in our records that we have to send a reminder for sharing the updated Roini. Registration of the hospital, number of the hospital, registration start date, registration end date. So when we go in the registration authority, there are four or five predefined registration authority certificates which we accept at our end. One is a registration certificate which has been issued by the state government or uh, the municipal corporation or the local governing authority. Second is the bio waste certificate, PCP and DT. This is uh, not applicable. TAN number is there, trade license of the hospital or certificate 1712 certificate. So, so again, we can uh, we have to select this hospital registration state. Nature of ownership can be <laughs> anything. Basically, it might be a body of individuals, local authority, company, or a firm. Uh, Richard, sir, I would yes, like. Sir. Okay. <clears throat> One thing I wanted to clarify is that uh -huh. I just drop down registration authority. Uh -huh. So if a hospital is located in the state of Maharashtra, uh -huh. where a daycare center registration in uh, Bombay Nursing Home Act is not there. Uh -huh. So a daycare center registered as a trade license of the hospital of nursing home is enough for empanelment. Yes, sir. Okay. Just wanted to clarify that part. The trade license of the hospital oblique nursing home. Yes. Sir. There are many authorities. Like if we come to Ghaziabad, uh, it goes as the CMO Ghaziabad authority. Then if you go to Delhi, then it is again an, another uh, governing authority. Mm -hmm. So likewise, as per the state uh, mandate, we can accept it. <laughs> Rishabh so, ji, in, in Haryana, it's a labor department. Labor department, right, sir. Faridabad, uh, uh, Hisar. And all yeah. its labor department. So, sir, depending on the local governing authority, we are flexible to accept the certificate which has been issued. Okay. So, in Tamil Nadu, is it clinical establishment? Yes, sir? this clinical establishment act, madam, is right. CA. Okay. Okay. Sir. And clinical establishment act is there in uh, East also. If we talk okay. about hospitals in East, like Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, Chhattisgarh, MP, so there also clinical establishment act is applicable. If I am not wrong, anyone can correct me if I am wrong. In Andhra Pradesh, sir? AP, it is DMHO registration. Yes. Oh, okay. Like in Karnataka, there's one KPME certificate which is being issued to the hospitals. So basically, any registration document which is valid for the place where the hospital is located. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Continue, sir. Sorry for interruption. So, so then we select the zone which uh, hospital belongs and then we go ahead with service category. So service category, we have to select IPD. As it is a single specialty, we are talking about your single specialty. So corporate health checkup and OPD cash credit is something different, which later on can be. Sir, audience has got some multi-specialty hospitals also. Okay. So if anyone wants to enroll for any other services, such as annual health checkup or corporate health checkup pre-policy, 
so they can select the option here also so the request will be simultaneously routed to other teams also because for other wellness activities we have a separate team and the request can be routed that hospitals are interested in value added services or any wellness benefits so the team will approach and they'll uh, take it forward for these activities so there is not required a, any separate and empanelment for that it is just a value added services in the same hospital enrolled with us in the active list of hospitals which have been enrolled with us so then again we sir we go for a hospital category primary care is a basic uh, nursing home facility which has 10 to 15 bedded secondary care is between more than 15 and high, uh, more than 15 and less than 100 100 or less than 100 single specialty secondary care is like uh, single specialty we can there are few tertiary corporate setups also in single specialties like center for sight and uh, iq and uh, other specialties so we term single specialty tertiary care as corporate hospital and secondary care can be any standalone uh ophthal center or a neuro center or a dialysis center so here we have to select single specialty secondary care tertiary care plus is again for more than uh, 200 250 bedded and tertiary care is 100 to 200 bedded <laughs> again we go for the specialty then we have to general hospital is a multi-speciality hospital which is having all the general ortho gynae Speciality hospital is again single speciality like neuro, ophthal, nephro. Uh, sir, there is hmm. a big bug here, sir. Tell me, sir. Just select speciality. Just select speciality. Hey, speciality hospital. Haan. This one or category hmm. one? No, no, no. Here, here, here. Here. Not, not here, sir. Here. The other one. Yes. Haan. Select speciality. Now, select some speciality. Hmm. So here, ophthalmology is not there. Right, sir. Okay. Whereas, if you look, select general, then ophthalmology comes. Then ophthalmology is there. Right. Yeah. This is this is one important small uh, thing which I observed, and I've been telling my uh, in the WhatsApp group who were asked for empanelment. Mm -hmm. This one small bug, maybe you can note it down for. At yes, your I'm end. noting it down. Sir. <clears throat> I'm noting it down. Sir. Uh, you can go on, sir. Just wanted to make that point. Yeah. Thank you, Hari, sir. So when we go for select the option of general hospital, we get the option of ophthalmal ophthalmology and then we select it and then we select the provider category. It is again, it is a hospital. So once we are over with this, we go on to the next and then we have the communication details. So this is an elaborative <clears throat> list of uh, details which we require. So basically starting from the insurance desk. Insurance desk is the guy who... Sir, Richo, sir. Richo, sir. Uh, one yes, minute. Sir. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. No, sir, no, like no. in Maharashtra. Yes, sir. In Maharashtra, uh, that uh, we have in only two options. Either clinic registration and hospital registration. Uh -huh. In hospital registration, it's a Bombay Nursing Home Act. Yes, uh, sir. For that, you have to get complete... Uh, uh, map and everything you have to pass out with everything yes sir but you can, uh, uh, otherwise you will be getting diagnostic or opd clinical basis so here empanelment is clinic so you have to click clinic and then can we then ot is ot can be perform, performed or not that i wanted to ask you whether to clear you because you know, suppose if you click clinic because it's not hospital it is not being given hospital it is being given only opd and diagnostic services so how to click that so the, the the question which I think is that uh, see the definition of hospital in uh, Maharashtra is different mm -hmm. from the definition of hospital by care insurance. Care insurance. Okay. So up here you can fill hospital and go ahead. Because in their categorization you are a hospital, okay. but according to Bombay Nursing Home Act you are not a hospital. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. So I was here at the communication detail. To add, one point I want to add regarding Maharashtra, Saurabh sir has asked. Uh, uh, in Bombay Nursing Home Registration Act, you need two beds. So it doesn't matter whether the name of the hospital is clinic or hospital. You have to show two beds. Okay. Yes, sir. The name doesn't make any difference. My hospital name is clinic actually. 
कॅन यू हिअर मी सर सो माय हॉस्पिटल नेम इज क्लिनिक ओनली म्हणजे व्हॉट एव्हर नेम इज इट्स क्लिनिक इन आहे पीपल प्रेफर क्लिनिक बिकॉज देअर सेटअप इज स्मॉल दे हॅव ओ टी दे शो टू बेड्स बट इफ यू दे मेन्शन हॉस्पिटल देन हॉस्पिटल क्रिएट्स अन इमेज ऑफ अ बिग थिंग बिग एंड एव्हरीथिंग सो द नेम डझन मेक एनी डिफरन्स Uh, important is whenever you see the ca- category you have to select hospital only that's what i feel so good to sir so when we move ahead to the communication details the uh, insurance desk which is will start with insurance desk is the guy who is handling the tp and insurance queries at the front desk level when a customer walks in and shares his card and the first is, uh, first question is that uh, the pre auth has to be filled and then it has to be sent to the insurance company for processing so we require the name of the person contact number and email id and then there are there are multiple hospitals which have a separate team for finance marketing medical director administration so uh, medical superintendent so finance is the guy who takes follow up from the insurance for uh, the outstanding and settlement marketing is a guy who goes out for uh, pr and uh, patient activities wellness activities talking to the corporates medical director can be the owner of the hospital also and administration can can be the head of uh, operations or the chief uh, rmo officer medical superintendent is can be appointed separately or it is again the same person who is the rmo or the signing authority which we mention here and we require the qualification of the medical superintendent qualify uh, of the person so one thing which usually hospital uh, miss out or there is an error that whenever we write here like it's like m.b.b.s but this website does not support any special character so what we have to do it ideally is just write mbbs or md or mch anything but we don't have to use the special character only special characters like in gmail email id can be used at the rate email id like most of the times i have seen people uh, writing plus 91 this will not be acceptable you can see if i even if i type it so it will not be acceptable over here even the name there that don't reserve the kr this is not acceptable it will show an error pop up at the end of the submission so if we have to write it can be reserve to mark singh no special characters allowed dr dot is not required dr ayu sir like this is required so once we move ahead with this then we have a list of certifications which have which uh, <coughs> may or may not be there are hospitals <coughs> which have this readily available like nabh three levels are there nabh entry we can choose na also if there is no if it is fully accredited then we have entry level certificate also then we have the registration number of the hospital if it is applied like we have a pescho application number we can use that start date end date start date can be the applied date end date can be like the end of year we can mention if you don't have a validity of 2 uh, years usually it is 2 to 3 years so if you don't have a valid date you can use the end of year date as validity here again it is iso certification nabl and jci certification so, so then we move rishu sir yes, now sir. you open that in uh, certification so is it mandatory for uh, care health insurance empowerment to have an nabh entry level so i'll yeah. i'll give you more clarity on this sir as per iida it was uh, mandatory at some point of time i guess 2020 circular there was a 20, 2020 circular that mm-hmm. every hospital which is being empaneled with an insurance company or tpa has to be nabh complied entry level also or has to apply for nabh sure. but later as of now there it is not a mandatory requirement mm-hmm. but still we request hospitals who get us on boarded with us to get or uh, apply or get nabh certified in 3 months of the onboarding date we have a process of uh, sharing <coughs> reminders to the hospital and we request them to go for nabh compliance okay <coughs> so in and any- if hospital for some reason rishabh hospital doesn't want or doesn't is not able to get that nabh accreditation in the specified period then uh, is matlab do you 
what is the further course of action from care side as of now sir i told you that it is not a mandatory uh, requirement from irda point of view earlier it was a irda circular mandate but now it is not an mandatory uh, requirement so but we still try to convince the hospital by through mail communication or the visit of rm we request that ki please go for nabs certification it not only okay, helps okay us, thank you it not only helps got us it, got it. we can show cause the hospital as a very quality certified hospital to our customer no 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 zoom meeting no discussion yes. got it got yes, it sir. point taken point. So, yeah sir there somebody so then we move ahead here sir for <coughs> details finance detail actually it will not show up till the time i am not filling all the details over here mm. so basically here there is one small bug which i would say you get a, a box which is known as micr code of the of the bank mm. so usually if you enter any numeric digit it will show error at the end of submission so okay. what what uh, we request hospitals to do is just write alphabetically non micr over there okay without any space or without any special character and there's one more uh, option which is uh, lacking over here that is that we don't have the option to select current savings uh, current account of the bank so by default you have to select savings bank account there's escrow account uh, other nature of accounts but unfortunately current is not in the option we are uh, deploying it at back end and we are correcting it rectifying it but as of now savings account and non micr we have to just mention mm. so that there is no error at the end of submission of the documents yeah i, I have a doubt actually the one and a year ago two three years ago mm. uh, people sir, used your to name sir it, sir your uh, name doctor, doctor ravi kumar okay sir see uh, three four years ago there was a rule or man i don't know whether it is mandatory now or not mm. that those who which hospitals want to go for uh, ca cashless uh, want to get, get empaneled with uh, insurance companies naba entry level is mandatory now is it mandatory or the hospital which are not uh, uh, affiliated with uh, naba are also getting insurance uh, rishabh sir i'll take this question because yes, well let me speak in my our doctor language so basically uh, irta made it mandatory earlier that any hospital for cashless should have nabh entry level minimum but even if it is not nabh entry level you can get empaneled provided the hospital takes a take gives a declaration that they will uh, go for nabh within 2 years of empanelment mm. after that during before covid this deadline kept on extending 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 Okay. and finally irda said that in order to enable more hospitals to come on board we are not making it mandatory we leave it to the insurance companies to decide whether they need nabh or not so that they can maintain their network so from the irda side there is no clear uh, mandate that i nabh is mandatory but however individual insurance companies can make their own checks and balances that okay we have in this particular city we have lot of hospitals now onwards we will only take nabh hospitals they can they are free to choose and we cannot fight that okay okay sir rishabh sir continue sir so so from here sir uh, the details need to be filled i'll share you one this uh, last uh, component of this one of this yeah, excuse me excuse me uh, can you hear me i just had a question regarding this banking account Yes, sir. See, my yes. hospital is a private limited company. Yes, sir. Now we have a, a account, a, a, a current account, mm -hmm. in the name of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Now we are M panel for uh, Ayushman Bharat, so we have used the same account for uh, transactions. So here you have mentioned that you need to have a, a saving bank account. Is no, it no, uh, is it possible that uh, we can uh, upload the um, current account details? No sir, what Rishav says is you don't have to have a savings bank account, but right now there is a glitch in the website. You just select the savings account option from there, but enter your current account number only, whatever oh. you are having. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please carry on. Yes, sir. thank you. So then we require uh, other empanelments held. It is a uh, a few empanelment companies and TPA companies over here. 
list is exhaustive even uh, one or two impalements for eyes or ophthalmy are not so rigid over here without any we can be the care is most uh, more than happy to be the first insurance partner of any single specialty or any hospital which is ready to help us and support us for a better customer service so again, this is uh, government bodies. It is not a mandatory. We can just mark it as others, even if these uh, options are not uh, applicable for your hospital. Same goes for insurance uh, companies also. Even if there is a no insurance company is paneled with you, care is more than happy to work with, to be the first insurance company associated with the hospital. Once we fill the details in this window and we save and next, uh, proceed for save and next, we get another window pop-up which shows this that we need to step in step two we need to fill all these details like bed strength operation theater equipments medical surgical specialty support services and declaration is the name and sign of the person so what usually where we uh, find a discrepancy is that the person who has filled the form in website and we have a separate checklist for the hospitals for our record purpose. So the numbers are mo most of the time mismatching. Here it might be written as a bed strength in five bedded hospital. And when we ask for the checklist, it becomes two or three bedded hospital. So I humbly request all the people in this forum to fill the registered bed count in this section in bed strength. Similarly, it goes for OT also and any other select type of specialty available in the hospital, medical surgical specialty, support services is any additional services available in the hospital, it is like MRI, CT scan, PET scan, additional facilities. And at the end, we require the declaration name of the person who is filling this document and the designation of the person. He might be the marketing officer, he might be the insurance head, he might be the TPA head, handler, coordinator. So we require the name and designation of the person who has filled the forms, uh, this form for empanelment. Uh, once we... Yes, sir, uh, name of the person filling the form. Yes, sir. Uh, one thing I wanted to clarify from your uh, words. Yes, sir. Do we need a third party agent to get empaneled with Care Health Insurance? So I'll make it, sir, very clear that Care Health Insurance never entertains anyone going through a third party. Good. Neither we require, a, neither we are taking assistance from anyone, and we request the hospitals also to not take assistance with anyone. We are directly and we are more than happy to help you out at any point of time where this either in the form filling or any clarity required on the list of documents to be submitted. We are we have a dedicated team and we handle it directly. I'm making it very clear directly. Nothing is involved, no financial, no fees, nothing. I just wanted to clarify it for everybody's benefit that empanelment is a free of cost process. There is you don't know you don't need not to contact anyone ever, other than the insurance company or the TPA to be empanelled. So, yes, sir. Ah, just want to I, ask I, if hospitals very nearby, maybe hardly 500 meters, and do both apply for your uh, care insurance? Hmm. You be all documents okay, everything okay. So, is there any some rules that uh, that even the two empanel would be something, or is there any something rule like that hidden rules or so? So, I'll I'll get on that also, sir. Once I'll just complete this form part, and then I'll get on the criteria part also. Okay. We have some internal checks and criteria for evaluation and onboarding the hospitals. Okay. Okay. I'll get on to that part. Hello. Also. Hello? Yes, please. Yeah. Hi. This is Doctor Satarkar. As, as you have said that there is no third party involved in the yes, empanelment. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, there are hospitals like me who have applied for last two years. Yes, sir. And in last six months, there is no response from the care group. Yes, then sir. Then in that situation, we are forced to go to a third party who can make the things easier for us. In that situation, uh, how would you guys help us? Because I have been applying for many insurance companies, uh, including care group of insurance. And uh, until the rate list, I have been finalized it. But after that, there is no reply, no whatsoever mail you send. There is no contact number of any person. And that case, I have been forced to go to a third party. You are right. Absolutely right. This has happened to not only you, to us also. We applied some... But there is no clarity when you will get back to us. 
they, it they looks even like as some hospitals sir we will hospitals requirement to get empanel not the company's empanel requirement sir we will go ahead see the thing is uh, we understand that issue sir after this uh, all this uh, grievance redressal and where to contact that also mr risha will be uh, touching up on separately sir right no there, there, there are instances actually when you have applied with all these details even you have provided your rate card thereafter they will have a virtual conference they will have a physic uh, video uh, through video they will examine your infrastructure and all then they keep it pending that yeah the rates are yet to be finalized packages are yet to be finalized it continues yes, and then you lose your steam so sir, but yes, in the yes, meantime yes. in the meantime somebody yes, some third party people will come and approach you if you are interested yes. we can get you enlisted in several of these insurance agencies or no like that sir uh, there has to be a timeline and clarity about yeah we will we will we'll come to it sir we will come to it that will be better yes, let 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 mr ishok complete this part sir Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's be more objective on it. Okay. Okay. Richard, sir. So once we submit successfully submit this uh, request, we get a formal request number in reference number as request ID O E R online impoundment request. Sixteen zero five is the date of request we are raising the filling this form. Year is two zero two one, and last is a auto generated numeric uh, reference number. once this uh, form has been submitted you uh, you will get a window uh, uh, like this and then you need to click on the download upload documents after you download these three documents from here one is download checklist neft form declaration form and these documents need to be filled manually signed and stamped attested and then needs to be uploaded here with quality checklist cancel check copy hospital checklist hospital brochure it is not mandatory if a hospital does not have a elaborated brochure or profile the registration certificate act discount letter is not mandatory we come to consensus after <laughs> the negotiation other document certificate pan card is mandatory tariff rate list of the hospital is very mandatory package is not necessary this can be accommodated in this uh, component only and last is the declaration letter any other document which hospital wants to submit can submit over here and then once we click on the submit click on the files which have to be selected and we click on the submit button so this can be done after only after this request id has been generated the documents can be uploaded only after the request has been generated most of the time hospitals do not go for uploading the documents they just share the oer number then we we again have to send a separate mail for uh, sharing the documents on mail the list of mandatory documents which have been mentioned here and it is mentioned that it should not be more than 35 mb and only jp jpg the most convenient for us and uh, you uh, and the hospital should be the pdf dot pdf uh, format which uh, is workable for both the sides and then once we submitted the request has been submitted to us so i'll get one by one on all your queries sir once this request is generated oer number is generated we have a tat of 15 working days i would reiterate 15 working days to give you the first revert on this from the date of issued uh, from the date of this request id has been issued to you the my request uh, the revert can go in 10 working days also might you get you might get the revert on next day also third day also but as a part of process we take 15 working days the maximum limit for reverting on any request generated from the date of request generation second thing is uh, was uh, the second question which we uh, you said uh, that we had to unfortunately go to third party i as a face of the company representing the company i sincerely regret uh, the inconvenience caused to you i would like to make it very clear earlier the process uh, was mostly driven through the ground level people so there were a very move, there were a i would say substantial movement in people moving from uh, one location to other location or leaving this company now we have made it completely an online based process so it is what we call it as a remote empanelment process so everything is on driven on the system we have a dedicated helpline number for that we have a team for that and we have a and i'll share the escalation matrix also with uh, dr hari for forwarding it to all the participants and uh, I, i would like to point out that 
there might be hospitals from Andhra and Telangana who have who must have received a detailed mail for this process note and uh, what the escalation matrix which we have sent an auto mailer uh, sorry mass mailer to all the hospitals which we had where we had received this OER number that care does not involve with any other party or any other firm or any other entity to empanel hospitals. So I'll get back to uh, I didn't get that name, sir. Uh, can you please let me know which hospital it was where you signed I'll the let you, I'll let you know, sir. Yes, sir. If you could, sir, unmute yourself and let me know the details of the hospital. Yeah, uh, that is uh, Dr. Satalkar from Yashwant Eye Hospital, Udgir. I'll, I'll message you separately, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, I've messaged it in the personal link. Yeah, no problem, yes. sir. I'll take care of it. Yes, yes, yes. So, sir, there might be some uh, movement and all and the person might have missed the request but as of now we are evaluating the request and we are we have a tat of total 45 working days <clears throat> to close the request to onboard a hospital generate a hospital id share the portal credentials for <clears throat> uploading documents pre out documents claim settlement documents and uh, sharing the welcome mail welcome kit with the hospital in 45 working days once the successful negotiation has been done what sir yes ma'am sir you were going to talk about the criteria for empanelment yes so criteria as far as single speciality is concerned sir uh, we do not have a very elaborated criteria for uh, single speciality i hospitals for multi speciality hospital we evaluate the request in uh, different uh, criteria. One is that uh, the network strength which we are having in that area, in that particular location, the infrastructure of the hospital, uh, the experience or market feedback from the hospital, whether we are getting reimbursement claims and the getting reimbursement claims which clearly shows that the customer which is our valuable people who are uh, using our policies are having faith on the hospital. So they are availing services. Three things. And fourth is that the market feedback, what other insurance company there are now you must be knowing that there is a forum for where hospitals are getting uh, ex as a part of excluded hospital network list. So this three, four parameters for single speciality hospital and multi-speciality hospital, it goes like this, sir. So if any thought I can <clears throat> clarify. So uh, jo, just just so that you know, uh, in our uh, our understanding, hmm. what you are saying is that whether to empanel a hospital or not, the decision is taken by uh, looking at few parameters. Right. One of the parameters would be whether how many network hospitals you have in that region, right, and sir. are you getting any reimbursement claims from the hospital in demand? Yes, sir. So basically, if a hospital is there and I have processed few reimbursement case cases, hmm. then it is likely that it's very, very likely that care health insurance will be very active in completing the empanelment process in such cases. Right, sir. Right. right. Okay. Now, another thing also I would like to put through is that, so uh, as you said, there is an exchange of data between insurance companies. Right, sir. So if my hospital has been uh, doing like, if my hospital has been flagged by some insurance company for some mm -hmm. claims where mm -hmm. it, might, it might not be in the proper way and uh, mm -hmm. I've been penalized or something and I've been red flagged by one insurance company, mm -hmm. it is likely that I will be denied cashless services by care health insurance in future. Correct? Right, sir. Okay. So that means hospitals need to keep a clean track record and need to have patients walking in. Yes, sir. Okay. Another question is uh, what Dr. Heman Sonamani asked was whether Two, adjacent, two hospitals which are adjacently located, mm -hmm. uh, whether they both can be empaneled or if one is empaneled, is the other ignored? Uh, so what I understand is if there are reimbursement claims from both the hospitals, you will go behind both of them and get empaneled, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So that is the one question Dr. Sunavane had. Entire agenda, what IRDA is also driving is 100% cashless. Oh, we are aware of this, the people... So wherever the customer is uh, willing to go for a admission or willing to take treatment from the doctor, it is beneficial for me to convert it into a cashless network and have a partnership with the hospital. Okay. 
sir one one doubt sir yes go ahead sir what happens now you know uh, patients uh, if there are two cash adjacent or maybe very equidistant what they do they contact their agent and then agents guide them that you go to this hospital you go to that hospital do you have any system to stop this because uh, patients uh, don't uh, trust doctors they trust the agent. uh sir i think this would be uh, you know if there is any such case that comes to your light and if that such case is of care health insurance and the agent of care health insurance kindly feel free to contact us and report the matter okay okay sir and right, sir? yeah but what happens sir you know most are ready for reimbursement then they say okay we will do cashless also then they say that this doctor this agent has told me that that hospital is better and your claim will get faster you will not have any hurdles i am taking part of this all these things happens we hear from the patients also sir so, i completely agree with you your location in terms of uh, agent driven being agent driven is very familiar maharashtra is one of the most uh, yeah, because uh, market definitely care insurance wants patients also and they want doctors also so the agents are providing them patients and some in some cases which is not good doctors also so what what we have devised it to handle or tackle this situation we have defined we have made a hospital advisory portal which will be live in another i guess today's 24th by another month or so so there we have evaluated the hospitals and given them ratings on the basis of our internal uh, evaluation i am not uh, supposed to share the parameters which we are evaluating but i'll let you know there are parameters which we are evaluating and just as the customer uh, types that are eye hospital or cataract operation we will display the name of the hospitals which are having a very good rapport we very good terms with us so before the patient goes to a agent or someone in person to discuss this query we have a portal for him that he can just uh, use his phone and just uh, google it like google or search option is there and he can choose the best hospital he wants near to him because uh, you are I, i am accepting your answer sir but what happens in reality you want to do search work also they will go ha mere ko isne insurance diya so kya status hai he has helped me for the insurance part he will help me for this part also so in those part the hospitals who don't have cashless or any tps or whatever patients because of this only sir i i acknowledge that you have an experience with that but trust me i i, I think everybody must have had this experience agree and this agree. is agree. It, is there. It, is there. it is there it is there uh, one more problem in this system is sir actually i don't want to name the tpa but mm -hmm. one tpa has approached us and told that if i give them a 10% discount they will display my name in the preferred hospital category so they that is this is a strategy part sir i'll get on to that also later this is a strategical decision between the partnership which you are entering into mm. but uh, as far as dr hemant is concerned he said that uh, he has an experience so i'll only say one thing that uh, when ola and uber came logo ka tab bhi wahi tha ki who will go for app booking and all but theek hai now they have beaten the public transport mode log people are so, now preferring I ola and uber and rapido I just want to ask that does care also have the same criteria that if we give more discount we will be displayed in the preferred category list sir it is not about the discount component if you keep on increasing the discount will uh, keep uh, will share you as a very valuable uh, provider or a very preferred <laughs> it is on the basis of what the experience between you and me the and the understanding which you have with me okay there might be you must be you you may give me 50% discount and when a customer walks in you deny the case stating that uh, no मैं केयर का पेशेंट हूँ मैं ले लूंगा पचास परसेंट डिस्काउंट में लॉस क्यों झेलू सो इट इज नॉट एनी पॉइंट है ही नहीं सर उसमें मैं क्या कर लूंगा पचास परसेंट आपसे डिस्काउंट लेस्पिटल एक्सपीरियंस पोर्टल हाँ सर हॉस्पिटल विच फॉलोज द पैकेज रेट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी केस डज नॉट डिविएट फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड एग्रीड बिलिंग यस सर विल बी प्रीफर्ड राइट instead of somebody who offers you 30% discount but thus upselling and cross selling ah. and uh, over and above correct right sir so basically what they are looking at is compliance so yes. one sign an agreement with an insurance company they are looking for the compliance ki hum kitna us 
उस एग्रीमेंट के साथ चल रहा है हाउ मच वी आर कम्प्लाइंग टू दैट एग्रीमेंट and in any business partnership i would say sir it's my opinion uh, that transparency should be there if you are agreeing on a on a rate or any uh, tariff or any commercial at this point of time it should not be that every 6 month or 7 months we are deviating it, uh, deviating from that or uh, there might be exceptions 5% 6% margin hum bhi leke chalte but it cannot be that 90% of the time we are deviating from the agreed tariff or agreed commercials sir aap bhi equipment lete hoge vendor se द वेंडर कैन नॉट कम टू यू एवरी थर्ड मंथ की नहीं सर अब आप रेट बढ़ाओ क्यों क्योंकि इसके रेट ये वो है सो सेम थिंग गोज विद यर आप जितना मुझे सपोर्ट करोगे टैरिफ फ्रंट पे म्यूचुअली एक्सेप्टेड रेट्स पे काम करके तो प्रेफर्ड नेटवर्क सर आप मेरे लिए ऐसे ही हो जाओगे वन क्वेश्चन आई हैव जस्ट आई हर्ड अबाउट दिस नो सम इंश्योरेंस एजेंसी में गिव यू अ रेड फ्लैग स्टेटस आई कुड नॉट गेट इट एक्चुअली in that case you become you know it it becomes a detrimental for you to get enrolled so what exactly is that red flag status and on under what circumstances uh, somebody sir, can give you a red flag status to you sir rishab sir you need to talk about the uh, yeah. instance in which a hospital is dm panelled and yeah. condition in which a hospital is blacklisted i think two are both are two different things two different things sir two different things so you should be very clear this is what the question is sir right sir got your point so i'll start with dm panelment so a hospital can be categorized into two parts one is empaneled hospital and one is dm panelled hospital and hospital which is not never was on network with me was not working with care insurance or any other insurance cannot be depaneled wherever the cashless facility was there the hospital can be moved from empaneled to dm panel due to some issues i'll highlight that issues later an exclu- an excluded provider is that hospital where even if we have any discrepancy in the reimbursement registered with us we can exclude that provider and excluded provider it is very clearly evidently uh, mentioned on our website also that an excluded provider treatment taken uh, taken in an excluded provider cannot be reimbursed or cashless is denied without any uh, question reimbursement also gets rejected so how does a hospital move from active and panel hospital to a de panel hospital it is all based on the experience again sir like we have a bandwidth choke between uh, the partnership they were the hospital is not agreeing to mutually agreed tariff or just in case there is a two year lock in period and the hospital has revised their rates and without prior intimation and confirmation from our end the hospital starts billing on the new rates and later when there is a huge amount of deduction hospital starts denying the cashless so in that unforeseen circumstances to safeguard our customers also we need to deactivate that hospital it is not that a deep empaneled hospital or a deactivated hospital cannot be reonboarded again with us it is just the transactional issues which has to be clarified and sorted from both ends and then we can again work on the cashless mode excluded hospital is a hospital where we have found hardcore fraud i would really be very blunt a hardcore fraud where we got the documents and we found that either the patient is uh, impersonation cases there or the patient is not present in the hospital or never took treatment from the hospital but still we are getting the claim documents and claim is being settled so these providers are moved to our excluded list and there we ask the customer or uh, any customer of care health insurance that don't take treatment over there otherwise you will not get the reimbursement also and cashless facility is not there at all even if we find a active and panelled hospital doing such kind of fraud activities with us we first we move it to deem panelment or deactive and then we move it to excluded also <coughs> no no my question was something different this is post and panelment <laughs> this is post and panelment and the service that the hospital is providing to your client mm-hmm. who is having a insurance or a no um, mm-hmm. a policy with you mm-hmm. now i am talking about pre and panelment stage So now I'm I have applied for uh, I have applied for empanelment at your mm-hmm. uh, agency okay with your company mm-hmm. now you might have come across mm-hmm. from some other insurance agents that my com- my uh, hospital is already red flag mm-hmm. for some reason mm-hmm. red flag is that it is not that I am empanel with that particular uh, insurance agency or that uh, uh, service provider uh, who has uh, red flag my uh, hospital mm-hmm. I do not know why they have done that. maybe that um, somebody had um, visited our hospital mm-hmm. they have said found that their uh, policy is not entertained we did that uh, provided the service to them 
-hmm. we provided all the bills to them they went for reimbursement and then they have uh, uh, written to us or may not have written to us also that uh, seeking certain clarification because they have to settle that claim mm -hmm. so in the process what they did they put the blame to our hospital that okay this you have gone there it was not a cashless uh, uh, we didn't have a cashless uh, agreement with them so you paid by cash and you have brought the bills for reimbursement but since we did not get clarification from that hospital so we have red flagged with that hospital with us hmm. is it there some way of uh, sir, having I, I, some I, sort of things like that sir let me let me take this sir uh, okay. the, uh, dr datta right yes 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 sir. i'm not a doctor i help my wife so i have been oh, doing okay. this sir, things let me, no, let please, me... please please explain to me because yeah, uh, let me hmm. let me explain sir see correct okay now when you say red flag blacklisted hospital red flag or blacklisted hospital an insurance company on their website maintains a list of blacklisted hospital so if there is a hospital abc which has been red flag or blacklisted that hospital's name will be in the list of the uh, in the website of the insurance company this hospital may be may, may would kabhi once upon a time was a cashless network was not a cashless network was working on purely on reimbursement it doesn't matter now for an insurance company to take a hospital's name and put it in a blacklist on a website it is defamation right now in order to do that kind of a uh, you know display of your hospital's name on their website as a blacklist they should have very credible evidence because as a corporate company they know that tomorrow if you file a case against them for defamation they are going to go dry so unless and until they have good amount of evidence of something maybe accidental maybe coincidental i don't know but some evidence they would be having which will support their blacklisting okay Or, got it i got it so thank sir, you then you first need to find out which is the insurance company which has red flagged you get in touch with them and find out why If no, that's think... okay. I I got your 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 answer. You have properly answered to that very nicely. No, what I am saying is that is like no. When the bank used to give you some loan, they go through check your credit rating. Yes. They even can check the what yes. amount of uh, loan that you have taken from other banks. Yes. So is there some system in your uh, process where there do is. you check where do you check that whether a hospital is delisted, blacklisted by any other agencies or no corporates? Do you have a system like that? Yes, we have a, a GIC portal, General Insurance Council portal, where we enter okay. the Rohini ID. Ah, Rohini ID, right? And we get the list of uh, list of uh, insurance companies and paneled or any insurance company has blacklisted this Rohini ID or hospital associated with that. We have a portal for that, sir. Okay, so even we can check ourselves in that portal and find uh, out whether anybody has taken uh, done uh, something wrong to us. I think it is possible. I believe. Uh, what we no, sorry, sir. Wo, that portal is only for the insurance companies. It is okay. Uh, okay. So in case if you come across in the process, you come across that this kind of a situation has happened to one of the hospital. Hmm. Uh, do you intimate hmm. them that this is the reason why we yes. cannot go ahead with you? Once once we get any request and we find that this hospital has been blacklisted or excluded by any uh, insurance company, we have a mail for. that mail format for that and we clearly mention that this is the insurance company which has been uh, uh, tagged okay. as a excluded provider and please provide noc from that company for further process at from us okay got it got it very good very we'll, good we'll thank you we'll support you that, with that the details okay so so you. one one universal id is the rohini id and another was that the health uh, credential authority is also there no health something NHS is there i that is different yeah, national national health different. authority that credential is, is also there no, no, no. that is that is adhm sir ABD, mm -hmm. sorry abdhm that's a very uh -huh. thing we that is we will not get into it sir that is okay. not we so we part. go by the rohini id i think we go by the rohini id Okay, fine, fine. Thank you, thank you for all your clarification. Thank uh, you so much. Sir, anything, anything that you I want to push for systematically, sir. Risha, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. We didn't get you. Yeah. Please anything? proceed. Please proceed. Sorry for the intervention. Sorry. Sir, anything you want? Anything more? Anything more you want to cover uh, in your uh, talk, sir? Uh, sir, I have one doubt, sir. Just a minute, ma'am. Just a minute, ma'am. Uh, sorry, sir. I think that, uh, Risha, sir. What I want to ask you is that. uh you were uh, going systematically right on the empanelment part so uh, now uh, is there anything left from your side that you want to cover that you want to convey one sided and after that we'll have the discussion so that will so that we complete the event 
or two three things i would like to reiterate once again the website uh, link where you get the hospital empanelment form mm -hmm. and uh, post submission of documents you get a successful oer number mm -hmm. you need to upload documents 20 minutes is the window time for uh, submit uh, filling all the details and submitting uh, <clears throat> your request mm -hmm. and uh, once this request is re uh, received at our end we take 15 working days to revert on, first revert on that whether it can be the document deficiency or the proposal uh, commercial proposal we which we share with the hospital so i'll yeah. i'm open for questions sir now sir oh. i have a question sir yes, yes ma'am sir yes. i have a multi speciality hospital i have not at m panel with any of the insurance sir so can 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 i first start with care now sir or should i have been having uh, insurance in some other m panel in some other uh, insurance company so ma'am uh, may i know the location of the hospital chennai chennai sir chennai and uh, what is the bed strength of the hospital 15 14 15 ah uh, 15 and it is a multi speciality or yeah it's a multi speciality hospital so ma'am uh, most welcome ma'am you please raise the request we'll evaluate and uh, if any uh, deficiency we found in the documents we'll let you know i guess if all documents compliant is there and uh, all the certificates are in place we are we are uh, okay to empanel the hospital okay okay sir yes ma'am so one more question sir is there yes, will there be any rate differences for ophthalmology if it's a multi speciality hospital because i get to hear that uh, the packages mm -hmm. of ophthalm no, no, what, will be what the question is sir uh, see uh, the cataract surgery rates for ophthalmology in mm -hmm. a ophthalmology eye hospital mm -hmm. versus package package rate for ophthalmology for cataract surgery in a ophthalmology department in a multi speciality hospital is there a difference yes sir exactly exactly that's a so what my experience uh, states that the hospital usually negotiate on the packages which they have most of the claim incidences if a multi speciality hospital is being uh, run by a gynecologist and they have the major incidences in gyne gynec area so they will definitely uh, be very aggressive on me and the negotiation of rates of cesarean section and normal delivery and lavh whereas they'll not even I'll, they're very least bothered about the other package rates for general or euro or any section of okay. the package okay, so sir. so we usually evaluate on the basis of uh, what other hospitals are working on us the, basically it is called as vicinity comparison then we see that uh, value is being added to us or not if we take this hospital on our panel value based pricing or we take the competition pricing but competitive pricing it has a very end stage where hospitals come up front to us and share that uh, sir we have a x insurance company and we are very good to work on this rate so can you uh, empanel us on the same rates so this way the pricing uh, or the commercial is been done at our end okay sir. thank you yes ma'am Uh, Rishab, I have uh, one question for you. Yes, now, sir. once we uh, no uh, go ahead with the process, now like yes, the rates what we have to offer to you, yes, sir, for a no to reach a settlement and then uh, mm -hmm. agreed the rates for a period of some certain particular years. Mm -hmm. Now, you just let me know. Yes, uh, can we have some information like how many clients of yours are operating in that area? Because you see, my cost will depend on how many you know cases I'm likely to get. Uh, even that's that's why i wanted to know your clientele population in my area is it any way uh, possible to have a some idea about the clientele pro population in my area of operation so that is uh, as per compliance and uh, statutory purposes we cannot share that uh, officially or somewhere on a mail communication in a written communication on a verbal basis if you ask me i could give you a rough idea that uh, these are the had count covered in your a specific district or your in your state so because Correct. i cannot assure you the volume uh, sitting from no, here or in, because no that is all right but at least if uh -huh. i know the clientele coverage lay there are there are about 1000 clients in that area uh -huh. not all will have a cataract problem okay or a, or a treatment is uh -huh. required but that there that that will help me to know that okay if i uh, go with you this can be my best uh -huh. package for One, your your uh, uh, sir, uh, sir i'll uh -huh. tell you a better a better technique than asking yeah. them 
is hmm. to put a book in the reception which mentions that how many patients of you uh, who are advised surgery and lost to follow up because you didn't have the cashless okay that works so uh, we i realized that we i never had a patient from uh, egon or any liberty general insurance i never had because in hyderabad maybe they are not common but uh, for care insurance though i used to have a lot of patients who come asked yeah, you don't have cash, care ka cashless and they used to go back okay so that so that will dep ask. depend upon the you know the location to location, location whether that cut, cut, that yeah. kind of a facility is uh, alternate facilities available or not so many factors will come but i was trying to find out uh, whether you have an idea no, about not, the clientele they, they will not share the data sir okay no, sir, we are not authorized not to post data data. i think okay this, Yes, no, the general, general, general uh, uh, range, sir, like uh, the range that this can my uh, business, my client sir, range. That area. is a general idea can be given by you know, uh, you know, you can go into okay. I'll I'll tell you the source also. So if you want to have the state wise and city wise coverage and distribution of policies uh, registered, you can uh -huh. go to Insurance Information Bureau who uh -huh. okay. the annual report. Okay. Four hundred pages. Uh -huh. Which has the entire cashless data, reimbursement data, claims set, sale data. The entire data is freely available on insurance information. Okay, okay. very good, very good. Thank you, thank you so much. What is that There's one you said? Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, insurance forum? Information Platform? Bureau. Pardon? Okay. Insurance Information Bureau. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And to add in, to your sir, uh, in, information, there's one more independent. Uh, consulting firm kind of which works on these data this is ibef.org so they also publish the numbers of uh, head counts and the insurance <laughs> coverage in the district or location so you can visit that website also for more details okay okay very good very good thank you so much thank you so much we have a query we were under we were negotiating with care health yes, we sir. got a mail from care health mm -hmm. and uh, the rates mentioned were only package rates inclusive of iol now, mm -hmm. this is a very difficult thing for us to follow because the patients want something else as compared to what is inclusive in the your package. Mm -hmm. So, we requested that kindly exclude IOLs from the package. And after this mail, we didn't hear back from Care Health mm -hmm. after this. Sir, can you share so the name of problem the because We cannot force any patient to go for a very particular IOL which is uh, included in care package. Uh, so, Nils, uh, Rishabh sir is asking for your hospital name, sir. And location. Parshwa Netralaya. Uh, Parshwa Netralaya. Jalgaon. Jalgaon, right. You will look into it, sir. Okay. Thank you. I'll call you separately. I'll arrange a call for you separately on this. Sir, in that case, if they want to go for a different lens, then uh, the difference amount can be paid or uh, the same lens has to be used. Uh, the, the... Bishop, sir. So, sir, what uh, ideally what happens that uh, PSUs have some another pattern of working. The public insurance companies, what they say, uh, that you can you have an agreement for, with me for uh, X uh, category of lens or X cost of lens. Over and above that, you can collect from the customer. And they, best to my knowledge, they do not allow the customer to come for reimbursement for the excess cost they have paid for the lens. What, as a private insurance company, we cannot restrict the customer on that aspect. The customer which pays you upfront for a higher category of lens or any other uh, excessive cost, they come for reimbursement uh, on us and we have to pay that just because his policy is being uh, is covered or he has the limit of uh, <clears throat> the lens which you have used or he must have availed so now the point comes is my mou or uh, the agreement getting violated if we talk in terms of uh, i would say pen and paper yes sir the answer is very uh, abrupt it is yes that the my mou is getting violated Although I am also here for benefit of the customer, the customer might be requiring it, but over a period of time in the claim trends and uh, claim analysis, what we have seen that rather than uh, taking it as a treatment, it has become a kind of, what do you say that we have used a high cost of lens and this will help me on a longer run or it will give me some uh, more benefits, which clinically yet has to be a, 
फोन खरीद लो ओके यू हैव द पिन यू हैव द कार्ड एंड यू डोंट नो द क्रेडिट लिमिट ऑफ द कार्ड यस यू गो टू द रिलायंस डिजिटल एंड टेल इट बाय मेरे को तो आईफोन 14 चाहिए प्रो मैक्स हम्म ओके नाउ द रिलायंस डिजिटल गाय विल व्हाट विल डू इज पुट पुट द कार्ड एंड से सर कार्ड रिजेक्टेड हम्म यू विल से नो 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 दिस इज माय पप्पास क्रेडिट कार्ड लिमिट इज नाउ दिस इज व्हाट इज द फाइट गोइंग ऑन हम्म यू अंडरस्टैंड सर yes sir exactly so, so here it is not that we sir you give me uh, the patient uh, who quietly accepts what is there in the tariff list i am mm. very happy to operate i work in i do echs cases sir where it is mm. even cheaper i am myself an exercise man there mm. the rates are less but still we tolerate those rates because those patient are not demanding mm. those patients like ayushman bharat patients they accept hydrophilic lenses they accept hydrophobic lenses basic lenses but here what is happening is your client who is a corporate client from netflix hmm. will spend 2 hours on google yes before coming to the doctor and they are already aware of id of lenses multifocal lenses alcon johnson and johnson and synergy hmm. now here it becomes difficult for us to hide it hide it right sir we cannot when the patient is outrightly asking us from the front ye wala acha nahi hum bolte hain yaar ye bhi theek hai sir that one that's also good hmm. you know, see the problem is that somewhere we need to come to an agreement hmm. oh sir i think this is something that we need to sit and discuss with uh, uh, kp sir and uh, you know uh, I, i guess the entire industry is facing the same problem i was with the lombard no no, no, no. <laughs> sir entire industry hmm. some uh, group of the industry have uh, disconnected themselves hmm. by saying that the policy holder has got a disease supplement for cataract for 50000 Yes, surgery is twenty five thousand plus lens cost. Hmm. If the patient wants to go opt for a bigger lens, uh, around uh, any other sixty seventy thousand lens, hmm. total amount will become this much. Fifty thousand insurance will pay. Balance the patient will foot. Hmm. That is a very much more simpler. But I'll tell you. See, the moment you put a cataract disease limit cap, hmm. your corporate will look down upon it. Yes, sir. The corporate sales will say, "Nee, nee, 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 cap nee lagana." उंडी worth 40 45000 which is well within the limit of my cataract sublimit you might have a mou of 30 now how to handle such patient who doesn't want to pay out of his pocket who says my sublimit is more than what i am wanting from you but it is more than what your mou also is so kya hmm. what should we do in such patients who are demanding and well within the cataract sublimit but beyond the limit of our mou that is the problem that is facing that is our problem that's the biggest problem sir with all the patients <coughs> but is your, so you want to know are how to handle for, these patients uh, nowadays people are insuring for higher amounts sir they pay quite a big uh, good amount of premium so they come and ask i am paying so much i fire uh, so why you are capping me with 30000 and 35000 mm-hmm. oh i told you sir previously uh, is- also that we are discussing on a very superficial level ha uh, superficial so, level this is, sir this is something this is something so, that so at my end what, level, so ha uh, but my end what we are looking at that controlling my cost my loss ratio my claim ratio and from that point of view it is that uh, we are giving the best treatment to the patient so somewhere <laughs> both need to come on a same page and we have to mutually agree because customer will avail the treatment at any cost Which he wants, 
हिल नॉट गो लाइक हेल्थ इज ऑलरेडी अ वेरी व्हाट यू से कि लोग डरते हैं उसके नाम से मोटर पॉलिसी नहीं लेते लेकिन हेल्थ डर के वजह से लेते हैं सो हेल्थ इज समथिंग पीपल डोंट हैव सेकंड थॉट ऑफ स्पेंडिंग देयर मनी सर नो 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 सर नो 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 सर नहीं नहीं दैट्स इट मैम 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 सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट यू सॉरी सर so basically we have taken one hour of uh, reserve sirs after office hours nahi <laughs> sir uh, it is uh, nahi with everybody there i would like to say uh, you know i would like to you know end this because this, this discussion goes on there is no end to it sir yes sir sir just one minute sir sir one empanelment related uh, question actually doubt to i have name, uh, your name your yes, name i am dr ashwini from uh, busawal okay So we had apply, uh, applied for empanelment with care in about by by about like I think last year April, mm-hmm. and uh, three weeks back we have received a mail reminder for submitting documents. We submitted it about three times, mm-hmm. and now they have sent us a checklist and uh, MOU type some documents. Mm-hmm. So they have this checklist which we can provide tariff, hospital photographs, pan card, ch- cancel check, but they have NABH certificate and application number mandatory. and just now you said that it is not mandatory and after that they want a pathologist and radiologist certificate and pcp entity certificate if usg in house it is mandatory okay so if it it is not in house but pathologist and radiologist how can we provide we are just ophthalmology based hospital so so i guess uh, actually uh, the list of documents is not uh, i would say curated for every hospital it is it apply, applies both for uh, multi speciality and uh, Single speciality also. Whatever documents are applicable for you, we I assure that there will not be multiple queries for the same thing. Like uh, I used to be there. Quite I a long time, so we had uh, left what? like following your it up only. Your hospital name? Netra Jyoti Hospital, Busawal. Busawal. So my team, my team will not ask you, ma'am, for uh, the pathologist or radiologist certificate once uh, it is a eye hospital. Ha, for multi speciality hospital, we require it. No, sir. We are both ophthalmologists. Ha. So no, ma'am. It will. You can just mention it that we so, are sir, ophthalmologists. You, can, we, you have the name of the hospital, sir. You can look it. Look, look into it, sir. Yes, I'll look into it. Netra Jyoti Hospital. Okay, so thank you. So, I think I think uh, we should uh, we should call it a day, sir, because uh, we already taken one hour and twelve minutes of uh, Rishav sir's personal time, and uh, Ayush sir, uh, Saurabh sir, uh, Evan sir, uh, very much. Uh, thank you all of you. uh we had around 38 people in attendance in this place and we also have a simultaneous uh, uh live going on just for viewing in that we have around 14 15 people on and off so uh, uh, most of the queries have been addressed and uh, uh this is uh, we are looking forward to such interactions in future yeah. so uh, rishab sir uh, thanks a lot anything you want to convey to all of us uh, sir uh, i would like to thank uh, both you and kpsr for providing me this opportunity to come on a forum like this and interact with so insightful people like you all so it's my pleasure and a very learning experience for me your opinion your views your thoughts on the how the uh, insurance industry needs to cope up with coming upcoming challenges and the advancement of treatment so once again i would like to thank all the participants and especially sir uh, hari sir for organizing this and uh, i i also look forward to more such interactions sir thank you sir thanks a lot so uh, have a nice day uh, good night and good night sir anything thank you we'll thank you sir, sir thank you hari sir thanks a lot sir uh, thank you for thank you sir thank you thank you for thank you for enlightening us sir thank you thanks a lot sir